Doctor? 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 Doctor. Doctor? Doctor. Hey, quite the champ here for Golfers RX. When it comes to practice, we usually find ourselves grinding it out on the putting green or beating ball after ball on the driving range. But at some point in time, we've got to take what we're learning to the course. To see if we're actually learning and improving, we need to test out our games. You know what? Let's get the hell out of this office. Just because we're taking what we've been practicing on the range to the course, doesn't mean we can't practice on the course. Today we're gonna to play a game that doesn't reward your good shots, rather it shines a spotlight on our worst shots. The opposite of best ball. This is a two ball game. You can play one hole, a few holes, nine holes, or an entire round. Best played when the course is quiet. Here's how it works. I'm not gonna be able to get it there, so I'm just gonna lay up to the fairway somewhere. So we've got a par five here, not a great tee shot. Second shot's just threw it back out into the fairway to give ourselves a nice wedge into the green for hopefully a birdie shot. So two shots, uh, neither great, neither terrible, so we'll just pick the one that's furthest away. This game makes it really hard to shoot a low score, but it teaches us how to grind out a bad shot, a bad hole, or an entirely bad round on the course. It also teaches us how to get the ball in the hole by any means necessary. This game is also gonna put some pressure on you. If you find yourself standing over a birdie putt with your first ball and you roll it in, well, you gotta repeat the whole process again with the second ball in order for that hole to count as a birdie. Same thing if you bomb it down the fairway. Uh, if you throw a dart into the green, you gotta repeat the whole process. So it's gonna force you to buckle down, concentrate, and hopefully this is gonna develop some nerves of steel. It's not always about the good shots. It's a lot about how you recover from the bad shots. Once you're done your round, you should assess what shots, what holes, what circumstances led to your worst shots. And was it specific pin placements on the greens? Was it certain shot shapes off the tee? This assessment should give you some insight into areas of your game that you may need to focus on. I know what mine is. You're gonna have bad shots, guaranteed. You're gonna have to find a way to accept those bad shots. But what better way than having to play them? Please be advised that carrying the shanks, ganks, hosel rockets, whiffs, flubs, muffs, hooks, slices, chunks, thins, yips, three putt, four putt, top, skyball, or worm burner does not happen from osmosis, wishing, club throwing, swearing, or asking nicely of your bowl. The only real cure for golf improvement is taking the doctor's prescription and getting to it.